Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the desk reservation systems. Some companies call it as a hotel. This means the user need to reserve the desk before they go to the office. We will see the functionality first and then I'll walk you through the setup. Okay, we'll start the application. UI is very simple. The first thing, user needs to select the date to reserve. The current, it is a default date. Second thing, the user select the desk so that they can see the more information. And third, they can book it. And once it's, if they have already booked it, if they want to cancel it, they can able to cancel it. They want to change the desk later on, they can able to change it. That's for the overall the functionality. So now we'll see how that exactly works. So as a current user, myself, I want to reserve this desk. For example, um, I'm going to reserve it for tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to reserve and select the date. It's going to show them if existing anything it's reserved ahead. So for example, I'm going to book it for another one, October 1st. I'll select a different date. Okay, so October 1st, if you look at here is one of them is a red, it's not available. It means it is somebody is already booked. And green means available, the another one is purple means current user is booked. So now I'm going to select the date, and then when you select the desk, it's going to show them in some information. So as a user, I'm going to select number three. I the desk ID is a three. I'm going to book it. Once it's booked is done, then it's changed the color. It's a current user. And for the selected date, October 1, already I booked it, I can be able to cancel it. So cancel. And it takes away from the systems right away. Or I can say I can book it number five. And then if I click something, I'll say now I'm thinking that I need the two monitors. Okay, so previously I'm a current user is in a five desk current desk is five i'm going to change to six so it's label is changed to six change so now it's changed to six okay so that's a pretty very basic systems you can extend the system based on your requirement Let's close the image close the app okay so this is a simple introduction screen and then this is what we did in a demo. Okay, we'll go to the other screen. It's a demo screen. It's a simple empty screen, and then we have a floor image already. So to insert a floor, uh, to insert, insert an image, just add an image or any media over here. There's a floor plan. And then once you insert an um, image, and then it has them it has a floor plan. Okay, that's simple enough. That's a four plan, and then you can extend it. Okay, so that's that's how you can insert the image. Okay, now the next step is each desk we need to find x y coordinations. That's how you know the reservation system is happen. How that's how the icon will move from. Uh, it will show the different positions. So for this one, so insert an icon one icon so i choose the waypoint because that's uh, easy to right then for i put them in a desk one so you will call it the desk one two three four like that in each desk one you need to measure the x y coordinations for example here and the position is x and y and just note it out in a sharepoint you can say it office info this is what how i capture the information x y coordination so this is a desk number one. I captured X and Y coordinations. Okay, so some deviations there. You can adjust it using some small formulas. And then there's a two, no down, three, four, like that. Okay, so each desk we need to measure X and Y coordination, and then we'll store them on you know in any any data sources i'm using in a sharepoint is easy to access it with the power apps so it's each desk id and then you can put them in a if you want different name you can 
put a name x and y coordination and then and just information about the desk got it second one is office booking so this has a information of uh, which employee which desk they are booked and then what date that's only the three information you need it okay and then one is the office info some master list and then another one is is the office booking which is stores the information then I come to here and then what we are going to do it here is so this icon we don't name it once you measured that x y coordination we don't need anymore so I'm going to just visible it or you can delete it inside the gallery as a blank gallery and then I'm going to put them in office info okay so that's where right so that's office info Nations. okay so now that's an office informations now it's three important properties we need to set it up one of them is template size okay this template size it has some formulas you can remove everything make them zip second one is template padding default is five so put them zero. Third one is wrap count this is also zero so this is the three important properties on the gallery you need to you know make them to make it zero okay the next thing is make sure the image is set it up exactly on top of the other image this gallery right this gallery on top of the other image so now the gallery is empty the, the gallery does not have anything here so we are going to insert a two controls one is a label so select the gallery and insert a label okay so you see here it's something it's shows up uh, but it's really not right and then we're going to insert the gallery again and then insert one icon okay so this case is i'm going to use the same one eight point okay now we need to tell them where exactly the position needs to be right so this position already we know them xy coordinations so this icon we are going to say x coordination is this item x coordination and y we just tell them same thing this item that y coordination you can see them it's something it's moved in some place so now still it's not showing properly the reason is some height is not set up okay set up yes so it started to show them say 50 50. now say we measured here but it showed them here because you know probably we moved um the gallery or the image in a, in a little bit different position instead of adjusting that one i i call it a easy way to adjust this number so y position i can say it minus 75 okay a little bit better i can say 95 yeah far better and about about the x y x is i need to move a little bit this side right so i can say minus 15 yeah far better right so it's far looks it's good so it's very close okay so now uh, we need to tell them the label also right so to label what we are going to tell them it's id no you can say them uh, location info location name you can and then x y coordination you can tell them same thing this item dot x coordination y this item y coordination okay then still it's not showing up properly and it's because the height okay the height is probably 30 yeah that's good and i'm going to say this also just a 50 because it's just a small number so still it's not showing literally properly i'm going to make it some red and probably some bold font probably uh 15 something it's bigger now it's it's not in the right position right so i'm going to a little bit change the x y coordination again so i'm going to say uh, y coordination is kind of 100 um yeah better i can say 120 yes and x coordination ah the x coordination is say minus 10 right sorry fine simple 
Okay, so now you know them how exactly you know you're going to set up this image okay so how this exactly the xy coordination is there rest of them it's a normal way now when you're selecting that icon you are booking it on all this other functionality to save the time because this is so important are different things what we've done it in general right so let me go to that previous screen then i'll show the other functionalities Okay, so we'll go to our other screen, which we already done it. So few important properties we are going to talk about it. One is the date. On change of the date, we are going to collect some information. Say for example, um, on this selected date, I want to know them what are the desks it's already booked, right? So that I can change the color. So I'm collecting some information. Um, instead of so the reason I'm using a collection because for every time I need to change for each ID I need to change or each desk right each item I need to change the colors or disable this so I don't want to ask access the data sources every time so that's the reason we are using collection here so that's a, one of the important property is on change event we are collecting some information which is on the specific date we are collecting what are the desk is already reserved that's a one and then second is icon, right? When you select icon, and then you are you are saying that on on the sorry when you are selecting the icon on select of the icon, again you are selecting you know you are changing the label name, whether this desk is a book or change. If it is the current user is not booked previously, then it will be a book. If it is already booked, if they select a different icon, it means they are changing, right? That's a one. And then another property is color, right? It has uh, three colors, okay? If you see here, it's one is a purple, right? On the screen already we discussed is purple color is current user. It means the current desk, it's booked by the current employee or the user, it means purple. The second one, we come here as a green which is the current desk is available it means not booked by anyone so it means it's blank right so it's a green then it means the other one is if it's not a blank it means booked by someone so we are saying it's a red okay and that's all on this image right image we are displaying the different color and then on select, we are thinking at whether you want to change the label name book or change. Then we'll come to uh, book button here. On the book button, what we are exactly we are doing here is we are looking for the current user on the current date, selected date, which we are looking, not the current date, the selected date, which is already we have information, right? If already they have information, it means they are changing. So it means uh, no, they are updating. So this is a normal patch function, patch, data source and then this if else condition we are saying that if the item is empty or a blank then it means the user you know didn't book already then it means they are creating if not they are updating we are updating only three information right booking date which location which desk they are booking for it and then who is the employee or suppose person right person and in a sharepoint the three only three information okay now and then cancel button cancel it's on select of the cancel and then we are looking for you know item whether the current one is we're getting an item so that we can remove it okay so getting the current item and then we remove it once we remove it we, now we need to change the color on the icons so that's the reason we are collecting the information for the collection and then refreshing the data source it means it's going to gallery is going to refresh it and then it's going to show them the newest information uh, that's all for now and then this is the basic information you can extend this application in in another angle or in a different way so for example uh, current application is just as a only one day you are booking the desk reservation so you can change from a date range based on your company policies from start to end date you can do that the another one i can think of it you know you can this is the current user right so someone you know behalf of other user 
uh, if a company policies allows you can book them or you can cancel them right it's all based on the company policy but still you can extend these applications uh, in in you know in a, another way and that's all for now thanks for watching